Earth's inner layers are home to a water-saturated environment, according to a new study that assessed minerals trapped inside a rare gem diamond originating from a depth of about 660 kilometers underground. Deep below the surface of our world, far beyond our feeble reach, enigmatic processes grind and roil. Clues about water in Earth's deep interior were recently extracted from rare diamonds. Every now and then, the Earth disgorges clues to their nature, tiny thonic diamonds encasing scarex of rare mineral. From these tiny fragments, we can glean tidbits of information about our planet's interior. Though more than 70% of our planet is covered with water, there is also water in minerals more than 200 miles, 322 kilometers, underground, including in the upper mantle, the semi-malleable layer that the crust floats on top of. Scientists have long thought that as the upper mantle transitions into the hotter, denser lower mantle, minerals can hold far less water. But in a new study, published September 26 in the journal Nature Geoscience, researchers found that a diamond contained inclusions, or tiny bits of other minerals, that can hold more water and seem to have existed on the boundary between the upper and lower mantle. The results suggest that there may be water deeper in the Earth than scientists thought, which could affect our understanding of the deep water cycle and plate tectonics. The results were unexpected, said lead study author Ting Tingu, who's currently a mineral physicist at Purdue University in Indiana but was a researcher at the Gemological Institute of America in New York City at the time of the study. Gu and her colleagues examined type IAB diamonds, a rare type of diamond from the Karo mine in Botswana that form deep underground and are often in the earth for a long time. To study the diamond, they used non-destructive forms of analysis, including Raman microspectroscopy, which uses a laser to non-invasively reveal some of a material's physical properties, and X-ray diffraction to look at the diamond's internal structure without cutting it open. Among the inclusions they found an assemblage of ringwoodite, magnesium silicate, in contact with ferropericlase, magnesium-slash-iron oxide, and enstatite, another magnesium silicate with a different composition. At the high pressures at the transition zone, ringwoodite decomposes into ferropericlase, as well as another mineral called bridgmanite. At lower pressures closer to the surface, bridgmanite becomes enstatite. Their presence in the diamond tells a story of a journey, indicating the stone formed at depth before making its way back up to the crust. That wasn't all. The ringwoodite in particular had features suggesting it is hydrous in nature, a mineral that forms in the presence of water. Meanwhile, other minerals found in the diamond, such as brucite, are also hydrous. These clues suggest that the environment in which the diamond formed was pretty darn gate wet. Evidence of water at the transition zone has been found before, but this evidence hasn't been sufficient to gauge how much water is down there. Was it a chance inclusion from a small, localized pocket of water, or is it positively sloshy down there? The work of Gu and her team points more towards sloshiness. Although the formation of upper mantle diamonds is often associated with the presence of fluids, super deep diamonds with similar retrogressed mineral assemblages rarely have been observed accompanied with hydrous minerals, they write in their paper. Even though a local H2O enrichment was suggested for the mantle transition zone based on the previous ringwoodite finding, the ringwoodite with hygrous phases, reported here, representative of a hygrous paradetitic environment at the transition zone boundary, indicates a more broadly hygrated transition zone down to and across the 660-kilometer discontinuity. Previous research has found that Earth is sucking down way more water than we had thought prior. This could finally give us an answer as to where it's all going. Image credit, Nathan D. Renfro and Ting Ting Goo.